Hello and welcome to my tech fan. My name is Igor and in this video I'd like to document my participation to Polymaker's CD printed hook tournament. This is not sponsored video of any kind, I'm just recording it because I really enjoy to being in this competi competition, even if I fall out quite early. Polymakers is a filament manufacturer and they organize this competition where we can uh, design and 3D print our hooks, send them to Polymaker and they will use them to face two hooks with each other and with a single elimination tournament uh, they will find the winner. Uh, this is not the best solution I think because uh, if I face uh, the strongest hook in the first round then uh, I will fall out quite quickly but first three will be awarded actually but I understand that just measuring the tensile strength for each hook and pronounce the winner would be very boring so I really enjoy this competition in this version how it is even if it is not fair for everybody okay there are some rules uh, everybody has to use the same filament this is a polymex PLA uh, we have to use 0.4 millimeter nozzle uh, who cannot extend 50 grams and uh, it must accept the metallic S hook which uh, we get the design for for it and it has to be open design so no complete holes on on these uh, hooks uh, no post processing this means we cannot use a support because removing of the support counts as a post processing and of course no internal reinforcement in these hooks so we have to print three uh, hooks and we have we can send them to one of uh, three addresses uh, three hooks because uh, two new hooks will be used in final and semi-finals if somebody uh, survived the first six or seven rounds and before we see my design uh, I'm recording this intro in December when the tournament is finished and I know that my type is not the best solution for this but the spiral versions but uh, anyway I will show you my designs and maybe you will learn something from it too and at the end of this video I would like to test Polymaker in their style so I will face the Polymex versus Prusament PLA These are design steps of my first version. So I decided to go with this uh, locking mechanism because uh, according to the rules, the hook must be opened. And this version, it is opened. Uh, but uh, if it starts bending, then this me uh, mechanism will actually hold it together. This idea is given later by several YouTubers. A few other things. I, I go with the smallest hole as possible because uh, torque is uh, equal force multiply arm and if the arm is smaller then the torque will be smaller so this means I have to go as much as possible closer to the center of this hole the next is that I try to avoid any sharp corners on this as you can see this is complete curve because uh, sharp corners uh, uh, usually starts some cracking on those places so that's why I avoid them here and uh, then next step was to use the maximal thickness of this uh, hook because it has to go uh, inside the metallic hook and those dimensions are given to us so the, theoretically this dimension is 16 millimeters but uh, with tolerance of plus minus one millimeter so uh, here I used the, the thickness of 15 millimeters for this hook and also uh, I designed it that if this part starts bending then, then it will align to this surface here and uh, only outside may bend if, if there be too big load. Now just because of that reason uh, I wasn't sure I created another version where I have this locking mechanism from two sides but it is very important I don't want this to be weak point I try to add uh, maximal equal thickness to these three elements. Oh yes, and very important that uh, I add here this uh, rounded surface because I want that hook to align uh, on the surface uh, with a very large area because if this would be sharp here, just flat surface, then the hook will align on your two uh, points and uh, by spreading that load to bigger surface I hope it will, be, it will have a less stress this plastic material. And the final mess, I wasn't sure uh, how big it should be. I was experimenting with the size and importing it into Slicer. And because there in, this, uh, in the 
Prussian slicer or even in Ecura, uh, it can estimate the how much uh, filament will be used in meters or if you enter correctly the the density of the filament then, then in the grams. Uh, since I wasn't sure uh, which version to use, I printed this one until I was waiting the, my Polymex to arrive. Uh, but I was printed uh, it only with the two parameters and only 20% of in infill. And um, let's see those tests. This is approximately the half size of the printing and that a low infill percentage is visible here. I use the texture printing bed so they pop up very easily. And it is much faster for printing. The weight is a little bit more than 15 grams only. I have some metallic hooks for testing, but they cannot fit here. But just to be sure that it will fit in the Polymaker's testing hook, I 3D printed one with the given dimensions. So it has to slide in and then turn the hook. So I improvised some testing hook this hook will be somewhere here so I started with the first version and uh, it failed at approximately 45 kilograms this video is speed up two times And this one is now in slow motion, because here uh, I can analyze a, a little bit better. Uh, I can see those white marks, uh, that's deformation of the plastic. So here I expect that uh, probably here it would break uh, the real one for uh, high load. And this is how it looks like. Okay, this is the second version now, and it failed uh, at approximately 62 kilograms. And again, this is in slow motion. And here it's not wasn't so easy to notice those uh, white marks. Uh, and anyway, I decided to use uh, this version, of course. Looks much more promising. And this is how it looks like after the test. In the meantime, my Polymaker Polymax uh, PLA arrived. I like these plastic bags because uh, when I finish the printing I can put some silica gel and uh, I can use them as a spool holder. I printed everything on 220 degrees Celsius to get better layer adhesion. Uh, if the load is not equal then the layers will help each other a little bit better. Hmm, it's heavy. Here you can see the gap. And just quick test, and it looks like uh, from that range, uh, the density was on a lower edge. Anyway, I post them as they are now. I didn't reprint them. That's a chemical thing. And before the competition, uh, I wrote on Polymaker's official video about the tournament that I have experience with these eight mm hooks, and they are not strong enough for. Uh, loads over five or six hundred kilograms. Anyway, competition started and I was very lucky with the draw because uh, I started only from round two. Round two, my first competition. And uh, here I was very excited because uh, I saw here that uh, that locking mechanism works correctly. I didn't even saw any white marks on deformation of the plastic, so I was happy with this match. The next one, round three. Now this was a stronger competitor because I was uh, very excited when I saw those white marks uh, deformation on the plastic. Uh, here it is now in a closer look. So it was really on the e edge of the load. And round four. In this competition I was against a spiral version of the hook, like a slinky. Here, yes, I saw those deformations and very strange uh, break, it, the, it was shared. And if you take a notice that here they didn't use a regular hook, but changed for the chain locks, 
with a different diameter and I don't have that advance of my design. Now a few words about my opponent. This design is something like a slinky or some kind of spring and this was really on the edge of the rules because it says no post-processing is allowed. And I'm pretty sure that slinky cannot be printed without supports or without separate Xperia with some sharp object. For example, see the printing nerd did something similar and uh, definitely this looks like a post-processing to me. In round 3 it slapped down from the S hook and then they replaced the hook with the chain link and after this it was not a question that uh, this white hook will win this match. And it also resulted in a lot of discussion in the comments of the competition videos. Yes, I'm sad a little bit that I lost this match, but I'm very happy to get to the round 4 because from this round they started to measure the load and I know that my hook failed at 803 kilograms. And I know they are much better designs, so I know it, it was a matter of time when I will fall out from the competition. And this is the final match with two spiral hooks and the white object is the one which eliminated me from the competition. And now let's test Polymaker in their style. So I will face the Polymax PLA versus Prusament PLA and only one will survive. Now let's repeat this test, but this time Prusament is up and Polymax is down. And the final words uh, about this latest test, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, of course, the tensile strength is not everything. Uh, I want to investigate this a little bit more. And anyway, I'm preparing very detailed PLA comparison test where I will test at least 10 different uh, very popular brands. Uh, about this competition, <laughs> I really enjoyed it in it and uh, I learned several things, uh, not only for my prints and uh, my specimen, but also from, from the <laughs> videos and watching the others. I hope uh, you find this video, well, I'm not sure useful or interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, happy printing.